talk about something true and dear to my heart. Yes, Freddy's Nightmares. I want to take you back in time to 1988 when I was a little bitty creepy pervy rapey face. I fell in love with Freddy the very first time I saw him. You can then imagine how excited this little creepy rapey pervy face was to find out that Freddy Krueger had gotten his own television show. I wouldn't have to wait a year to see Freddy. I would no longer have to beg and plead with the adults around me to let me see Freddy. There was nothing between me and Freddy except time, tiredness. The show did come on at midnight. I was a little creepy, rapey, pervy face. Some people can tell you what was going on when the Twin Towers fell? Well, creeps and pervs, I can tell you exactly what I was doing October 8th, 1988 at 11.59 p.m. I was sitting on my couch wearing a Freddy Krueger glove with my styrofoam Freddy Krueger hat and my shitty Freddy Krueger shirt on watching some dumb bitches go around in a circle in this roller hockey derby thing that was popular back in the 80's waiting for the premiere very first episode of Freddy's Nightmares that's what I was doing so finally Roller Derby ends, Freddy's Nightmares begins, and it was a celebration. We're going to get to talk about the greatest show ever made, right here, right now. I had to go make myself a celebratory drink to celebrate this occasion, which could not have happened if it wasn't for Robert Rodriguez and his little TV network known as El Rey. If you have not checked out El Rey, check it out. I'm sure your um, cable provider or dish network does provide it. Episode 1, No More Mr. Nice Guy. We find Freddy Krueger on trial. The evidence presented to this court was obtained during an illegal arrest. That, in compliance with the Supreme Court's ruling on the rights of the accused. With great regret, I must grant defense's motion to dismiss. The cop that arrested Freddy didn't get a search warrant. He was too close to the situation. Freddy had gone after his daughters, Merritt and Lisa. 
and had almost gotten one of them. Moving quickly, he apprehends Freddy after two months of searching. Now, we have Freddy on the loose, an undead Freddy by the way. Parents are outraged. They decide to form a lynch mob to go after Freddy. Laying low. He knows we're watching. Yeah, well, we're not the only ones. What does that mean? Word has it that a couple of parents don't feel much like waiting for Freddy to show up. They're gonna find him. This cop, the one that screwed up the whole deal, and has spent the most time searching for Freddy, whose daughters were the last ones that Freddy went after, wants to uphold the law, bring Freddy in the right way. Well, hell, Tim, I'm just a little bit surprised that you're not out there with him. You know, I came here because I thought one man could make a difference. And he can't. By upholding the law, not by breaking it. The lynch mob figure out that Freddy is most likely going to pick up where he left off. They scare Freddy away. The cop, Tim, shows up. The lynch mob tell him, we're going to take Freddy down. Tim tries to explain to him, no, we can get him by the book. Lynch mob takes off. Tim comforts his family. Tim knows where the lynch mob's going. They're going to follow Freddy right back to his boiler room, his little dungeon, his little playground. You think you was going to get rid of me? At this point, Freddy starts baiting him. I have to say, this is the most badass I've ever seen Freddy. In all the movies, wow, he's just a badass right here. to remain at large, cop. I got a right to remain silent. <laughs> hey, cop. You got a pretty little girl. Uh... Shut up! We, uh, we got interrupted before I could get to know. Don't let you lot better next time. Next time. Let Tim gives in to temptation is actually the one to douse Freddy and light the match. Now, Tim's having dreams of Freddy. Plus, has the stress of the FBI coming to Springwood to try to help them apprehend Freddy again. Only because of how bad the trial went down. Everyone knows Freddy needs to be behind bars. Now the FBI is willing to come help. Well, you, you can imagine how happy that makes Tim. On top of that, Tim's got this nasty ass fucking tooth that's like rotting out of his fucking head for some reason. So, He's got to deal with the fact that he torched Freddy. Now the FBI is coming. 
Oh, did I forget to mention Freddy's body's gone missing? <coughs> yeah! Freddy's body's has gone up and missing. Plus, one of his daughters is all cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Tim's trying to hold it down. Got all this stuff coming at him. And Freddy's just playing on it. <laughs> Until finally... Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. All oh, those teeth. I'm afraid you will all have to go. You tell Freddy when it doesn't hurt. Freddy's nightmares begins. <laughs> the best show ever on television. Who's that? <laughs> you? Or maybe you? Until then, who's next? You? Or you? Or maybe you? Or how about one of you? <laughs>